everybody so today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the baby purchases that I've made recently and um, yeah I'm really excited as a lot of you know we are planning on not finding out the sex and I think I'm still sticking to that like I really think I've almost 100% made my decision that I don't want to find out um, so yeah a lot of these things are gender neutral and I happen to have found like a lot of really cute gender neutral things but I also did buy a few little boy things just because I couldn't resist and they were so cute and there is one little girl item that I bought at a consignment event that was really cheap so um, basically what we're doing is as of right now since we don't know we are mostly buying gender neutral um, we're taking a lot of hand-me-downs from people and buying a girl or boy item whenever we think something's really really cute or really cheap and I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys my stuff all right so first of all they had like really good deal going on at CNA like right now they're selling like all organic cotton which is awesome and everything costs like no more than seven euros so yeah here's the first item it says hip hip hooray on it and there's a hippo right there and I thought it was just really cute little whatever you want to call this thing it was only six euros and this is in the size two to three months so we got that. Um, I got a lot of sleepers because one thing I noticed is like we have like no sleepers. Like I got quite a bit of onesies and things for my mom, but we don't have sleepers. <laughs> so I started like kind of stocking up on a few and I found some really cute gender neutral ones. And here's the first one. It's got a, a rabbit on it and all these like carrots. And I just thought it's so cute because if you guys don't know, we have a guinea pig named Carrot. And me and my husband are like, Oh, I really like things with like fruits and vegetables on them and I just like whenever I see a fruit or a vegetable on a baby item I always buy it so I was so excited that there's carrots on here and it says dinner time on it and I just thought it was cute and uh, very gender neutral and let's see what size it was it was seven euros I believe and what size 68 they have they size differently here like they don't size by months all the time sometimes they size by these weird numbers I don't know, um, let's just say it's like, I think I bought everything no more than three months, so let's just say it's like three months. Okay, <laughs> um, next one is from the same place, and this one is seven euros too. And it's got the beige on it, and then there's like a little orange car at the top, and then this bear playing with a ball, and I don't know what it says there, it says, little bear likes to play. So really cute. And then the last sleeper we got of this style, okay, the last one we got of this style has a cow, a sheep, and a, a bird. Maybe it's a chicken, but yeah. Really cute, very gender neutral, and I think this was a smaller size. Like, I think this one was like, a, I think it was like one to three months or something weird like that. Okay, um, and then I got this. It was on discount at the organic store that I like to go around. Sorry if I get a little winded sometimes, like all my organs are being pushed up at the moment and I'm just kind of starting to adjust to that. But yeah, so um, yeah, so I got this because it was on sale and I thought it was just really bright and colorful and cute. Like, I don't know. I think a boy could wear it if he wears it with like jeans or something. I'm not like totally like boys always have to look super super manly so yeah but I thought it was really cool it's not like that gender neutral but um, it's like really nice quality and it's fair trade as well so guys the guinea pigs are biting yeah so it was originally $19.95 but it's I got it for $14.99 which wasn't that great of a deal but you know at that store it was a really good deal because they sell really good quality clothes and uh, like they're all organic and um, you know, no artificial colors, nothing like that. So I thought it was a good deal and I decided to pick it up just because I thought it was really cheerful looking. And that's just a onesie. Um, okay, so now I have some little shirts and this came in a set. I got this one with the B on it. I thought that was cute. And I just like the really bright orange colors. I think it looks really cheerful. And then this came with it, and it's just like an orange striped shirt. Um, and then I got this with a cow. I love farm animal theme things. And then I got another cow outfit, and this one I really like. This is really cute. 
I just think that cow is so cute on there. And then the back's got like little cow prints on it. I thought that would be like really cute to like put our child in. Because me and my husband, we go to the mountains a lot and we like to go see the um, mountain farming and there's all these cows that you can go and pet. And I just thought that would just be so cute to put my little child in that when we go. Um, here is another sleeper. This was only one euro at CNA and it's organic cotton. Like it was so cheap and it's just a bear who has like, who's eating and has a pacifier and very gender neutral, so I got it. Okay, um, and then the girly item we found at a consignment event for only two euro was this strawberry onesie. And I love strawberry print things. Like if you guys haven't noticed, like I have like these strawberry pants that are like pajama pants and I just love them. So when I found this, I was like, oh, if it's a girl, we could like match at bedtime. I just thought that was so cute. So um, yeah, I got that. But I mean, I guess a boy could wear it too in the house. It's like not a big deal. If we don't have any more sleepers, I'll put it on him. Okay, um, okay, and then I got a couple of little boy outfits, so let me show you. Okay, so the first outfit I got is, well, I guess a girl could wear these too, but they're kind of made for little boys. Um, I got this one, which says, um, little snail is going for a walk. And at first I didn't understand why there's like a chimney here, but apparently it's because like the shell is like his house and yeah. So I thought that was cute and it's got like a really cute striped pants and I think it'll be just really nice. Nice cool little outfit to wear. And then this one I really like. And I got this one in like six, nine to 12 months. And the reason I got this one in nine to 12 months is because it's a very summery outfit. And um, we're, our child's gonna be born in the summer. However, it's gonna be like a newborn and they didn't have a newborn size. So um, I got a really big size because I figured, well, my child's not gonna be able to wear this three months in the winter. So um, yeah, but here we go. I got this. Oh no, the pants are coming off the hanger. Can you guys see it though? There, I got this and it's got a whale on it. And it says Paradise Cove, San Francisco Bay, California. And the thing that really attached me to this outfit is just like how Californian it looks. And because it says San Francisco on it, because if you guys don't remember, I'm from San Francisco. And uh, yeah, I just, I kind of thought that it was really cute and uh, very kind of preppy California style. And it comes with the little surfer shorts and like a hood on the back. Okay, and then the last outfit we got is this one. And it's got a frog on it and it says little froggy. And it comes with these striped green pants. And it also comes with <laughs> this hat with eyes. And I thought that was just so funny. So I had to get it. It wasn't very expensive either. How much was it? I think I took the tags off of it, so I can't remember, but it was not expensive. And this is for two to four months. So, really cute. And then the last couple little items um, that, this isn't really clothes, but it's a hat, and it's got a, it's a giraffe. And I thought my friend Courtney would really appreciate this because she calls me a giraffe, and like, I can't explain why you have to really like, it's like an inside friend thing but i'm the giraffe and um yeah so i thought that was just cute and courtney if you're watching this i thought you would appreciate that so really cute i think we'll put this on our child when we go to the zoo or something that'll be cute and then the last thing um i think it came with one of the onesies it's just like a bib it came with like the cow onesie so okay that's all the little clothes items the next item that i really love is a sleeping sack and if you're not familiar with sleeping sacks i think everyone is but a sleeping sack Looks like this. I'm gonna stand up for this because it's really big. So let me see. Um, here we go. So here is what a sleeping sack looks like. And it's kind of like a sleeping bag actually. It's just got arms and like a zipper here. Wait, no, the zipper seems to be at the bottom right now. Yes, it is at the bottom. I think they do it so that babies don't unzip themselves. <laughs> Um, it's really good because you know you know your child's not gonna like get smothered in it. And um, yeah, this is really cute. We were at IKEA and they have this adorable like vegetable theme going on. And this is like a garden print on it. Like there's little radishes, and uh, I think these are radishes and strawberries, and just it's so cute. And then the last purchases are cloth diaper purchases. So here, these are the two organic flip diapers in Ribbit. Um, this is the 
diaper by Apple Cheeks. Um, here is the diaper by Swaddlebees in the print tweets. I got the Bum Genius Elemental Organic in the color Butternut. And then I have a Grovia shell, but I put a pre-fold in there. And um, it's it's the owl print. So, and then I got two of these snappies for the prefolds. So, okay, that is everything, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and that you're all having a really good day and a good week. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.